Hi, uh, in this video I will show you how to do secondary interactive demolition. Some users at Facebook asked me about this. And uh, so here's my simple test scene. I have as a wall, have a wall, and I have this rock, which I'm going to throw into the wall and demolish this rock. So my rock will be a, as a dynamic list here, since I want to continue its animation, and my wall will be in slipping list here, and I will use convex uh, animation geometry for rock and uh, porous rock material for the rock uh, which means that this uh, object can be demolishable and I will use heavy metal material for the wall which means that this wall won't be demolished and uh, also uh, don't forget to turn on the mold geometry and use bake mode because in 3 mode uh, the demolish geometry doesn't work it turned off so uh, now let's try to create simulation. I will start at frame 30, uh, just before the rock hit the wall. So uh, my sub step is 4 because my rock is pretty fast moving and some fragments may pass through the wall. So uh, gravity, time scale, just uh, all properties. Let's turn off the mouse geometry. And for the first simulation pass, I will use depth level 1 uh, before start increasing this uh, demolition depth level and create secondary fragmentation uh, my material solidity is uh, 1 but uh, this is default property and it uh, try to mimic the real world real world um, property so let's say if I will try to bake uh, uh, simulation now and you'll see it uh, was demolished after it hit the ground so if uh, I will start decrease it if I will set it even to 0 it, it will mean that uh, any fragment will be demolished at the first impact so let's, let's try the point A first um, hit, bake uh, ok now see that it was demolished at the hit uh, when it hit the wall also you can see that uh, uh, there was used uh, there were used uh, impact point fragmentation type because uh, there are small fragments at impact and bigger fragments uh, on the other side so I can cancel it and try like the uh, uniform but in this case you'll see that all the fragments have pretty the same size uh, which is, uh, in some cases is not appropriate so let's cancel and set here a no impact point so iterations 1 means that will, there will be only one uh, point which will generate five, uh, 500 uh, another points and these points will be used uh, by Voronoi for uh, creating fragments and the diversion is 50% which means that uh, this 500 fragments will be spread uh, around this one point uh, in area equal to 50% from original object size. So if I will set here, let's say 10, uh, my points will be concentrated near the impact point. Okay, actually it's a pretty uh, good one, but let's increase to 40. Okay. Now we can create, uh, basically we already create first demolition level, you already saw it. Uh, so to start create secondary fragmentation you can use this depth level and if you will set as you can see when it's one these three properties are um, black have uh, have black color which means they not used right now and only when you set it to two uh, refire start yielding uh, depth uh, ratio is um, a value which uh, defines amount of fragments for every uh, every next uh, demolition level and uh, 0 0.1 means uh, if for first demolition level their uh, refire uses 500 points uh, uh, with uh, the uh, ratio 0 0.1 it will use 500 multiplied by the ratio value in this case it will be 550 uh, points for every new fragment uh, another property is time delay it allows you to uh, save some fragments from instant because if uh, by default um, when 
the uh, impact occurs, uh, all the new fragments may start instantly demolish further because um, they also get some impact. Uh, and uh, this uh, time delay property uh, allows you to keep them from instant demolition. And one means one frame. So after one frame, that will be possible to demolish them again. So that allows you to wait until they will hit the ground and only uh, at the ground they will start demolish again. You can of course increase it and uh, or even set to zero but in this case uh, you will get instant interactive demolition. Basically I will uh, use it right now just to show you. And the last property is probability. Uh, right now it's 100% means that uh, all, uh, all the fragments uh, of the first interactive demolition will be possible to demolish further. But in some cases you will want to prevent some fragments from demolition so it won't look too generic like all the fragments uh, hit the ground and demolish further. Uh, and you don't want to say you don't want to play this material solidity to find out uh, the best property to uh, demolish some fragments and to save some fragments from interactive demolition. So using this probability you can set it to 70 and you can be sure that uh, only 70% from the, of the fragments from the first layer uh, will be demolished further and 30% won't be demolished uh, no matter what happened, uh, will happen uh, they won't be demolished so uh, now let's try again I'll set bake ok now let's see so uh, as you can see Uh, after first demolition, all the new fragments were demolished instantly again. Uh, just because my time delay is zero right now, and if some fragments were not demolished, it's only because probability is seventy percent. But let's continue. And as you can see, this uh, even uh, death level two may turn your object into a mess with hundreds of uh, new fragments. So you should be very careful and uh, I uh, honestly I never use death level 3 because it, uh, it create, you, can, you can end up with like 10 or 2 or 20 thousands of objects. Just using the starting demolition one object you will end up with uh, 20 thousands of fragments. You should be very careful. Okay, as you can see there are some fragments, big fragments, which were not demolished and uh, this happened only because I have probability of 70%. If it will be 100, all these fragments will look like, like this. So let's pause simulation and take, closer, take a look closer. Well, that's just the mess. It might look cool, but in some cases you may need something more small smart and uh, let's so let's cancel the simulation to revert back all the original objects so uh, now let's try time delay set to let's say two frames maybe even three and probability to 50 percent and uh, also there is a minimum size limit uh, this uh, property allows you to uh, save some fragments or objects uh, even from the first demolition level. So let's say I will have uh, one, not one rock but a lot of rocks and there will be small rocks and uh, big rocks. So uh, right now size of my rock is let's say I will create a box. Okay, you'll see that uh, size about uh, one meter to one meter. 100 centimeters. Uh, so, uh, so this property uh, 2 and uh, this is 1 inch uh, lower and if I will set it to let's say 5 or maybe 10 centimeters uh, it will mean that all the fragments and objects which are less than 10 centimeters won't be demolished. So this prevents you 
prevent uh, fire from demolishing very small fragments because uh, we don't need to uh, fragment even even uh, very small fragments and uh, we can use this wallet to define the amount of the size of the fragments which you don't want to interactively demolish so uh, let's say set here maybe five because there will be very small fragments and I don't want to demolish them and now let's now let's try interactive demolition again let's hit the break uh, okay now you see this uh, walk won't uh, is not demolished until mess at the first frames but let's continue now you can see that after some fragments start hit the ground or they hit another fragments in the air now they start to demolish further and such animation may look more interesting and again if you think that there are too much uh, new fragments and uh, the object again start turns to mess you can Decreased probability even less, let's say 30%, so only 30% of uh, first uh, layer of fragments will be demolished further. Okay, I will pause it. And here you can see fragments which were demolished only after they hit the ground, like this one, or even this one. So let's say you think uh, such small fragments should not be demolished even further. Uh, using this minimum size limit, you can you can control. So you should increase it. So even if you, there is a such small fragment which is still very demolished Okay, now I will cancel this animation and uh, let's try to do one stupid uh, thing and set the level to 3. And I guess I can increase probability even less, let's say 30%. And minimum size limit will be increased as well. Uh, so there will be less uh, amount of fragments demolished further, let's say. And uh, 50 centimeters, and the ratio also will be decreased. Okay, maybe 0 0.5. And let's start animation again. There will be a lot of small fragments, so I will decrease the collision tolerance as well. And I will. I won't show you all the simulation, I will just show you the end result. Okay, it took for a while, but uh, now you can see what happened here. And if I will select all objects, you will see that there are okay, there are more than twenty thousands of fragments. Okay, uh, thank you for watching and if you have any more questions guys, you can ask me uh, on Facebook or email me directly. Uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.